coming to nasal polyposis nasal polyposis is a uh, is self it is not a disease it is the end stage of the manifestation of any chronic inflammatory diseases so if there is any chronic inflammatory diseases and there is a end stage local manifestation will be nasal polyposis suppose there is a chronic rhinosinusitis then there will be edematous mass and that forms nasal polyposis or nasal polyp nasal polyp is a non neoplastic mass of edematous nasal mucosa nasal polyp is basically two types anthroquinal polyp and bilateral ethmoidal polyp anthroquinal means anthroquinal that means it arises from mucosa of the maxillary antra and it grows in the quana that is the posterior side of the nasal cavity so this one was quana so it arises from the maxillary antrum a maxillary antrum is situated in the hiatus semilunaris in fundibulum of the hiatus semilunaris then from there it grows in the middle meatus and it blocks the nasal quana now uh, it is usually unilateral single non neoplastic mass the cause is nasal allergy or any sinus infection recurrent sinus infection or any nasal allergy uh, causes the edematous outgrowth of the mucus of the ma maxillary antrum and maxillary antrum is maxillary sinus is the most common sinus which gets infected so maxillary sinusitis is much more common so uh, sinus infection and it is basically seen in children and the young adult so what will be the clinical features unilateral nasal obstruction thick voice that is hyponasality nasal discharge which is mucoid which may be from unilateral side or can be bilateral side differential diagnosis is in both anthroquinal and bilateral ethmoidal sinusitis the same differential diagnosis that is the blob of the mucus disappearing which disappears on blowing a blob of the mucus which looks like a uh, like a nasal polyp but it is disappears on blowing hypertrophy of the middle turbinate that is hard on the probe test angiofibroma but it causes the recurrent profuse epistaxis or any neoplasm which can also causes bleeding so investigation of choice is posterior rhinoscopy in posterior rhinoscopy we can appreciate that uh, polyp we can appreciate that polyp it gives the better visualization of the polyp because it is present in posterior side so in the quana now other investigation of choice is x ray of the paranasal sinus which gives opacity on the antrum maxillary antrum specially x ray of the lateral lateral view that is that will give the post nasal space swelling and there is a column of air behind the polyp which is not present in case of angiofibroma so uh, to differentiate between angiofibroma and the nasal polyp there is a post nasal space swelling along with column of air in the behind the polyp which is seen in the nasal polyp non contrasting ct scan for pns so, so the treatment is polypectomy or caldwell loop operation caldwell loop operation is infralabial approach so we have to remove the anterior and the posterior wall of the maxillary antrum and we can remove the polyp from the antrum now coming to bilateral ethmoidal polyp it is bilateral multiple polyp it is basically seen in adults in young adults it is seen with association of cystic fibrosis but in the adult it is seen in basically seen the bilateral ethmoidal polyp it arises from lateral wall of the nose from the middle meatus that is from the ethmoid sinus that is uncinate process bulla ethmoidalis ostia of the sinus it is mainly due to the allergic arise from the septum or the floor of the nose the causes are chronic rhinosinusitis nears is the syndrome non allergic rhinitis eosinophilia syndrome asthma aspirin intolerance cystic fibrosis in 20% cases fungal allergic reaction or cartagena syndrome in cartagena syndrome 
it can be seen young syndrome what is young syndrome azospermia with nasal polyp and also in charkstras syndrome in charkstras syndrome it is basically uh, eosinophilia with granuloma and polyangiitis so uh, uh, in adult it is mainly seen so what is the clinical features the clinical feature will be patient will complain of multiple polyp of any age there is a nasal stuffiness mass coming out from the nose sneezing and watery discharge and anosmia the differential diagnosis will be same what will be the investigation of choice anterior rhinoscopy here bilateral ethmoidal polyp will come forward so anterior rhinoscopy we have to do for the better visualization NCCT for the extension or any erosion of the bones is there or not we can see the by NCCT but it can transform into malignancy if the age is more so if the age is greater than 40 years we have to also think out rule out the malignancy case so for that we have to do NCCT so what will be the treatment under the face surgery functional and endoscopic sinus surgery at 0 degree 30 degree or 70 degree angulation we have to do polypectomy intranasal or transnasal or extranasal ethmoidectomy where uncinectomy is done retrograde or anterograde and uncinectomy bulla ethmoidalis is removed anterior ethmoidal cells are removed posterior ethmoidal cells are removed and in this way the polyp is removed from the middle meatus so this is all about nasal polyposis